So when you think of file upload, you think of a lot of things, right? Like RCE, possibly XSS, authorization issues, etc. right? But do you ever think of XXE? Well, in this case, if you upload a file like an SVG file, then you might be able to get XXE. And what an SVG file is, is it's essentially just an XML file that describes a vector image. So you can see here on the left, we have this SVG. This is the actual contents of an SVG file. And all it does is it pretty much describes a vector image. Well, what we can do is we can try to upload an SVG file that references an entity. And then from there, can it return the results of that declared entity? If not, can we actually exfiltrate data out of band? So let's go ahead and look at the lab. So in this lab, it's a basic blog website. And if we click on posts, we can make comments. I'm not seeing any type of login or authentication workflow. It looks like we could just leave a comment here. So what we could do is we can go ahead and leave a comment, test, testing, T at T. So what we'll do here is we'll actually just download this SVG. So what we'll do is we'll copy this, open up our terminal. We'll use nano to make test.svg, control shift V to paste. And then we'll upload this benign SVG file, test.svg. When we post this comment, you can see in the actual post request we sent, it sent a post request to post forward slash comment. And the actual contents of our SVG is here in this avatar parameter. So if we go back to blog, we should be able to see that image. And that looks like what we expected. So what we can do here is we can try to see if we can reference an entity within that SVG file. So I have two files here. One of them is hacker one, the SVG, and the other one is hostname, the SVG. And these both are essentially the same thing, except one is using an external entity rec declaration, and the other one is using that image X link, which is a little bit different. So what we'll do is we'll do this external entity declaration one. I'm gonna copy it. And instead of just uploading the file, I'm just gonna send this request to repeater again and get rid of our original SVG that we sent and replace it with this. So instead of referencing the metadata API like we're doing here, let's go ahead and call Etsy hostname because I believe that's the goal of this lab. So we send the request, we get a 302 found, we can refresh the blog page. And let's take a look. If we look at this image, we can open image in new tab or copy image location, paste the URL, boom. So you can see this looks like some random text, but this is actually the host name. So what we can do is we can actually bring this over here so we can see it and type it out. And then we actually need to enter that up top here to submit the solution. And you can see that was the correct host name. So there is a couple things to take into account here. In order for us to actually be able to see if this is actually returned in band, we need to be able to access that SVG and look at it. But let's say that we actually didn't get any confirmation that this actually resolved a reference to hosting. We can try an out of band reference. So what we can do here is go to collaborator client, copy it to clipboard, and instead of referencing Etsy hostname, we can instead do an external entity reference to our collaborator server. Then when we refresh, when we refresh that blog page and then pull now, we check to see if we get that reference. And we do, and it's from a, a 5.2 IP address. So this is referenced from the actual application itself. So from here, we can do out of band exfiltration if we weren't able to get this in band data exfiltration. So once again, you find an image upload, see if it takes SVG. If it doesn't take SVG, is that client side or is it server side? There's a lot of different ways to circumvent client side file type restrictions and sometimes even server side ones. But this at least gets the feet wet and shows you what you can do with SVG files. Well, that's all I got for this video. If you want any more from me, you can check me out on twitch.tv forward slash gar underscore seven. Every Monday and Thursday, I do educational live streams and giveaways, so I'd love to see you there. If you learned something from this video, or if you have any feedback at all, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. But other than that, hope to see you next time. Thanks again.